Okay, here's an update to the Delta controversy. I just got off the phone with someone from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution uh, who was very interested in the story, and, and tons of other major media has expressed an interest and um, actually uh, in, been in contact with, you know, among others, the Today Show, Letterman, you know, Jimmy Fallon, and and, and the like. So uh, stay tuned. It's This story is not ending anytime soon. But uh, I finally heard, you know, Delta's perspective on this. Apparently, this reporter called Delta up, and their position was twofold. Number one, they thought that the headline of how to beat the system, together with the um, the, the X-ray of the jacket, was a, a security concern. That somehow or another, you know, you know, this was a way to beat the security system. And I made it very clear, I, I, and I really laughed at that. Number one, we offered to change the headline to how to travel around the world without any baggage. So it didn't have any connotations of beating a system, which we're not trying to beat the, uh, the, uh, the security system. Um, but more importantly, you know, it's just seemingly ridiculous because our stuff does not get around security. It makes the security experience easier. You take off your jacket, or your vest, or whatever you know, Scotty Vest product you have, it still goes through the X-ray. You you still can't hide stuff there. It doesn't make it you know invisible to the security X-ray. You you could arguably take a, a coat off the rack and throw you know put a bunch of stuff in. You're just going to look foolish. Our stuff is designed to do this, but you're not fooling security by any means. So that was number one. And number two, they said that it doesn't. They thought it was misleading because it doesn't you know, save on checked luggage fees that, you know, they, they allow one carry-on and um, this is misleading. Now, here's my view on that. It's, uh, it's a little better of an argument for me, but, you, you know, it still, it still fails. The fact of the matter is that if you are limited to one uh, carry-on bag that is free and that carry-on bag has to be a certain size, certain dimensions, um, anything that you are able to carry on in addition to that on your person on in your Scotty vest is is a bonus. So, for example, if you've got a full carry on in the, the the size that you're allowed, and you want to carry a few more items, and let's say you would have otherwise put those items in a backpack, then you would get to the you know security or go through to check in, and they would say you're only allowed one carry on. You have to pay twenty five dollars each way to 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 check in your backpack. So to the extent that you can put these items in your Scotty vest and not have two carry-on bags, you know, and therefore one check bag, you are saving money. So this story um, is not going away. I, in fact, it's getting bigger. Having heard Delta's response um, really, I, I don't know, amuses and infuriates me all at the same time. You know, what is next? Are they going to start counting how many pockets you have or making you get on a scale or limiting how much stuff you can wear before you get on a flight? You know, this whole thing started with these um, check check baggage fees when you know, the fuel for airlines went went up, and the presumption was is when fuel costs went down, they were going to reduce the cost again. So this is Scott Jordan from Scotty Vest thanking everyone for their support. I really appreciate it. That's probably another member of the media. I'm going to take that. Bye.